As you are lost in thought, you see Morse approaching you. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, lads. I'm the one and only Clover, and well, and <laughs> sorry if I sound a little iffy. I'm a little bit sick, but 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 but. Uh, today we are playing Morris. Now this is a game connected to Melissa, a game I played forever ago. Probably one of my favorite videos I did. And we're playing this for Valentine's Day. Clover, you're a goddamn idiot. Uh, Valentine's Day isn't for another like nine days. I mean, when this video is posted, it'll be three days from then. Ah, thank you, disembodied clone of me or whatever the f you are. Uh, whatever, whatever, let's just play it, let's just play it. Hmm, there's no music. There is music! If you don't remember, the plot for the last one was she basically became a sentient dating sim, like Monica. Welcome to the library system computer, and it looks like this one will be going through the same bullshit. Please type in your username. Clover. Welcome, Clover. Please type command. Check library. Check library newsletter. Thank you for subscribing to the library newsletter. Printing newsletter now. Please check the library printer. I got achievement. An upcoming update to our library systems. Hello, library patrons. Thank you for subscribing to our monthly newsletter. Updates to our library. Due to increasing demand, romantic books have been introduced a total of... We have introduced a total of 20 new books in our circulation. There have been requests for romance manga to be put into circulation. Librarian Jerry has taken a, a gander what, at what a manga is and determined it is some kind of comic book. As is common knowledge, comic books are not real books and therefore have no place in this library. Now wait on a minute! Technology news. As per request, many patrons, we have introduced many new games, including the plethora of edutainment for children ages 4 to 10. We also hear you and have ordered the remaining softwares of the date time dating simulation game. We have just received the Morris package and Anna will be coming through the circulation soon. This is a, a run-through of, like, their actual games. Oh, also, I will be going back and playing, getting the rest of the Melissa endings, because I was a goofball, messed up, and I couldn't get any more endings. We would like to put a, out a notice that our Melissa diskit has been missing, and if you have any information about the software, please contact the library or something. Welcome, Clover. Please type command. Let's save really quickly. Boop. Okay. Start up date time. Disk Morris found. Executing date time now. Now, please hold. Welcome to date time. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Notice... This is the Morris package. If you like to date anyone besides Morris, please switch diskets. Choose your potential mate. This is Anna. She is a sporty, popular gal who's all about fun and energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. Next person. This is Militia, a sweet of a girl, a bright young woman who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. <laughs> and she has always wanted to date a talented artist. One second! I don't even know if you can hear me. Hold on. I'm gonna do a quick test. Okay, I could be heard. We're just gonna turn all this back up. But she isn't into sports or jocks. Please do not apply. If you want to spoof from this girl, you need to tap into your softer, more intellectual side. Next person! This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, 
but tap a bit into him and he'll open up the side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also lo that he loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. These all sound nice, but there's someone else I want. Anyone who subscribes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Oh no. Along your pleasurable road trip, your car has taken a tumble. You died. End of game. But don't worry, we're about to get... You were able to get it towed to a small town's mom and pop shop. Auto repair shop. Not to mention you heard that they just hired a cute new mechanic there. Am I a guy or a girl in this? Editor, show a picture of me as a girl. Unless I'm the one editing, then I know you're not smart enough to find one. Is that boring? <laughs> Inside, you meet up with Joanne, the co-owner of Joanne and West Auto Repair Shop. Morning, pump. What? <clears throat> Should I do a voices? Morning, pumpkin. Fuck. You must be CL zero cl zero ver. <laughs> we got your car in the garage, and our best mechanics working on it. But I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful town. Ooh, can I go to my car? You'd like to see your car? Go down the hallway. Our new recruit Morris is working on it now. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And he might... And I might I mention he is an excellent poet. So romantic. Anyways, off you go. Have fun. You walk down the hallway when suddenly... You bump into a large man... <laughs> You, you fall and die. End of game. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Morris. Is that, is that Morris? He flashes a warm smile and takes a step back to greet you. Ho ho, sorry about that. I hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> Joanne would, would give me a good talking to if that happens. Ho ho. Anyways, you must be Clover. Hello and welcome to our great town. Despite the circumstances. Speaking of which, your car! <laughs> it's in the hands of our newest mechanic, Morris. Who's Morris? Morris? He might be quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And might I mention, <laughs> he's an excellent poet! <laughs> I'm talking to goddamn Oblivion NPCs. So romantic! <laughs> Your wife said the exact same thing, did she? Ho oh, ho, yes, of course. We both Lord Morris He's such a charmster. Even when he acts like he isn't. Anyways, I don't wanna bore you. Have fun with Morris. You wave goodbye to to the Jolly West and walk deeper into the auto repair shop. Oh, am I gonna die? Woo, what a workout. I hope nobody saw me struggle on that tire iron. Wha- Wha- <laughs> God damn it! Oh my gosh, wh where did you come- c come from? You- you- You must- m must be the owner of the- this- Oh. Oh no. Th this fool is c cute. Ahem, I mean... Harumph! <laughs> so you're Clover, huh? I'm Morris. <laughs> well, I, I got bad news for you. Your engine's fired. Did you even apply coolant to your car? I mean, I put water in there. <clears throat> I can't do that right now because my nose is super tuffy. <clears throat> Figures. Looks like you're stuck in our boring town for a couple of days while we wait for the parts to arrive. Oh no! <laughs> More time with you? I'm. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta pry out your dead engine. D don't do anything stupid or cute while I'm away, okay? As Morse goes back to your car, you spot a small written note on the desk. It says, Early Dove, a poem by Morris. Print out the poem and read it. 
Oh, we're actually interacting. So last time it was literally just like dating sim. You you do this, done. But now it's like early dove by Morris. The early dove gets more love. I can't wait a ton to find the one. That's what I was always told every day without being bold. I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come be my dove? Notice, early dub by Morris is an intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print. Do not post it on a public forum without distributed license. Like our... Oh, I probably should have brought out the notebook. Oh, no, I have the notebook. It's right here. Hey, that's mine. D don't read the that. Hold on. I need to reach for my pen. Ah! Okay, I got it. <sighs> My handy dandy notebook. I have a notebook for all like my YouTube stuff, like notes and shit. Usually stuff like to uh, what's it called? Like look at later or while editing. But uh, yeah. This your poem? It's terrible. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll go for a good ending. I'll go for a good ending. Is this your poem? It's beautiful. Uh, y you, you, l l like my poem? N nobody has ever said, I mean, I, th th the woman up front literally said you're a good poet. What do you mean? You call me available in a couple days. Please enjoy the town. You think Morris and head outside into the cold air. Oh. Next to the shop is the town's park. The trees have already shed their leaves for the winter. And the swans are in the pond have migrated to warmer climates for this season. <laughs> but did you know that swans can fly f from 50 to 55 miles an hour or 88.5 kilometers an hour? I learned that from the great game Melissa. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. You should have quit YouTube while you had the chance. I I know. But even so, the early winter atmosphere at the park is so fetching. And maybe a little... Romantic. You sit at the bench and stare over at the beautiful landscape, when suddenly... Ha, hi! A wild morse appears! <laughs> Editor, put the Pokemon uh, battle sequence! <laughs> Moore sits down next to you at the bench. Um, Clover, w Wood, would you like to join me at the cafe for lunch? I I mean, not like on a did it date, did it did it, did it, did it, did it date or something. I just it, it's cold and winter is here. It might even snow soon. You should eat something to to keep your strength up. I'm just trying to be a good person. Are you blushing? N no I'm just cold! S stop teasing me! Yeah, I'm whitewashed. Literally, I step into the cold and I turn red. N now, come here. No, sorry, come on. I know a quick route. You follow Morris to the cafe. Sorry if my audio is a little messed up. The microphone is a lot closer than it used to be. Whoa. The cafe serve some of the... Hold on. Is this the same cafe we went to Melissa with? Is that why I bugged out? Hold up. Hola, 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 hola. Hola, hola, hola. Are you blushing? Da, 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 da. This is the same cafe we went to Morse with. I mean, Mer Melissa. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pie, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Morris sit by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park. A waiter saunters out to ask you what you'd like to order. A scrumptious panini. Because I'm pretty sure last time I said a coffee with cake. The waiter nods and turns to Morris. Give me a ham sandwich. The waiter smiles and walks into the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. You and Morris talk amongst yourselves. Morris mentions that he likes motor that he likes motorcycles. And that was why he sought to get a job at Joanne and West's auto shop. Maybe one day I can finally buy one and ride myself out of 
out this boring town. What is that face? Editor zoom. Enhance. Zoom again. Uh, rotate. Spin it. Uh, uh, change the color to red. Now blue. Now RGBs. Um, add my opening preview effect. <laughs> zoom again. Unzoom. Unzoom again. Zoom in on the keyboard. Red. Morris. Morris's mood changes when he reminds himself of the job. It's good to make money, right? Yeah, I'm actually starting my job literally this weekend. Or I guess... Yeah, this weekend, because this is going to be posted on Sunday. I just wish Joanne and Wes were nicer people. They seemed to like you. What? All day they just yell at me about my job. Hold up. I'm getting a text. Is it from V? <gasps> no, it's from uh, my friend. You have second lunch B days, yeah? I got my lunch chain. Second, both days, I think, might have. <laughs> they make fun of me for writing poetry. It's just, I'm just a disappointment to them. They said nice things to me about you. That's very surprising. I wish they wish they'd say that to me directly, though. Oh, well. I didn't mean to bog you down on my troubles, Clover. But thank you for listening. Th thank you for reading my poetry, by the way. I I'm still embarrassed by my writing, but... If you would like to, I can share you more. N not because I, I like you like that. My friend's sending me pictures of Gojo! But you may have a good eye for writing. Ha ha ha. You nod in excitement and read more of Morris's poetry. Moments later, the waiter came back with your food. Both of you dig into your food as the sun sets on the beautiful town. This is around the time when it ended, right? Where, like, I got my smooch, and then Melissa went all doki doki on me. You awake at the late morning sun at the town's bed and breakfast. The days are getting colder in the town. You shaver a bit before traveling to the auto shop to check your vehicle. You reach the front counter where Joanne is waiting for you with a smile. Huh? Joanne. You reach the front counter where Joanne is waiting with, for you smiling. Wes! Wes! Stick to my plan! It's gonna work! It's gonna- Wait, can you read what we said? Morning, pumpkin. I hope you, I hope you had a great night at our famous B and B. Now wait just a minute. Something's fishy here. Something's fishy here. What were you speaking to Wes about? Oh no, you overheard us. Well, might as well tell you the truth. We're giving Morse a surprise gift for such for being such a great employee. Shh, don't ruin the surprise. Just. Keep being a COOL PERSON to him! Speaking of which, Morris has been talking so much about you lately. Perhaps it's because he likes you. We knew each other for a day. We literally... He literally was a prick when I first met him. WHAT DO YOU MEAN?! Maybe you like him too? <laughs> we'll see! Now, Clover, I think it's best for all of us if you always give people a chance. Especially a beautiful poet like Morris. Anyways, go down the hallway and check on your car. Morris has been looking forward to seeing you. I'm gonna bump into the first dude again. You continue down the hallway only to once again... Bump straight into West, fall down, crack my skull, and die. Game over. Whoa there, partner. I forgot what voice I gave him. What's the rush? Morris isn't going anywhere. Ho ho. How was breakfast at the B and B? Delicious, I bet. Some sometimes I buy I buy a bed there just so I can eat Granny Ann's eggs. Ho ho ho. Anyways, oh Morris wasn't hasn't been too good with you. Ho ho. Don't you love his poetry? Yes, of course. I'm not.
I love his poetry too. I didn't click anything. I'm going to save. Things are getting weird. Wait, isn't there usually like... Oh, okay, there's usually like a little thing that will let you see... Me and Joanne sometimes get so sad that not enough people hear Morris's amazing poetry. If only there was a way to send it to everyone's computer at all at once. Wonder if that technology exists. Things are getting really buggy. Look, look at all the static. Oh, forgive me for boring you. Forgive an old fogey like me for rambling on. Go down the hall and check your car. Morris is waiting for you. You walk further to the garage. Hold on! The top right corner! Editor! Zoom! Enhance! Brighten! Saturation! Up! Make it red! Tint it blue! Is that Melissa? No, it's just a, no, it's just the subscribe button. Go ahead and click it. You arrived at the garage, but Morris isn't anywhere. You peel- you peek at the desk near your car and see something written on the notepad. Why is another po- why it's another poem from Morris! Print out the poem to read. I don't like this. I, 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 in fact, I actively hate this. Hold on while I reposition. I wish I could tell them by Morris. What if they don't like me? I dare not even speak. I can't express my love precisely. I feel rather meek. Warning, date and time software suggests at least two kilobytes of RAM to run. You are low. Please close other applications. Time software, do not photocopy this. Please, please, please help. Just connect to the internet and send. Huh? Oh, can anybody read this? Please help. Please help. Okay. Something's fishy. Clover, I didn't notice you. I was out to check on some tools. Huh? Hey, you didn't read that, did you? It, it's still a draft. I was experimenting. But please, don't judge me so harshly. What a beautiful poem! The poem may need some work. You spend some time speaking with Morris on how to improve his poem, his... His phrase on the, this poem, encouraging him along the way. Morris hangs on your every word, as together you craft the perfect solution. Oh, Clover, you're a lifesaver. Thank you so much for the advice. Having someone like you in my life makes me a stronger poet. See, funny thing, I'm a terrible poet. In fact, I'm terrible at English, and it's my first language. I don't even know any other languages. And I'm over here failing my English classes. Why? Because I'm only good at history. Action achieved! I have so many feelings in my head. You're the first person to ever encouraged me to grow. I have so much to th think about. Let's meet up again later, today after work. You bid yourself farewell and travel back outside, off, off to the chilly but beautiful park. You walk peacefully along the swan pond in the park, daydreaming of your time with Morris. This town is a beautiful town, but you understand Morris's predicament. The shop, park, cafe, and swamp pond were, were sights to see, but Morris lived here his entire life. Eventually, everyone thirsts for adventure. You thought about your own travels and how your road trip had granted you many adventures. Perhaps, as you are lost in thought, you see Morris approaching you. <laughs> Mom, date, you, it's Melissa. Morning pump. Water, sir. For her, the waiter saw. Editor, go back to all of that. It's getting cold here. Actually, I'm gonna go back. No, load. Back. I gotta go back and look at all that real quick. Welcome, date time. It's Melissa. She's a heart of girl. Morning pumpkin, you must be... Believe this idiot wants to be a poet. Burr. It's getting cold here. I'm telling you, it might even snow soon. 
Come on, Clover, let's warm up and have some coffee at the cafe. So as you walk with Morse through the breezy park to the shimmering lights of the cafe. A gust of warmth hugs you as you walk into the middle cafe. Morris pulls a seat at you at the same corner. The waiter saunter. This is what I'm saying. It gets glitchy like this when like weird weird things happen. A scrumptious panini. The waiter nods and turns to. Do you see this? Do you see what is happening? I'll have another ham sandwich. The waiter smiles and walks with leaving you. Morris alone at the table. I am so fascinated by you, Clover. I mean, in a completely platonic w way. Such as, why are you on this road trip? I'm looking for adventure. Fuck no. Adventure? Wow. I'm so jealous to see someone like you that steps out and just, you know, just does it. I'm not looking for love. I already got love. This must be what freedom feels like, huh? Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. You both talk as you dig in. Alright, let's save here. The sun shines outward as you walk outside from the bed and breakfast. You wave Granny in goodbye as you walk towards the shop. It's warm today, but there may not be many of these days left until the winter matures. You walk inside to check on your car. Morning, pumpkin. Is our little town warming up to you? Actually, it's getting colder. Because it's warm out. Haha. <laughs> we got an update that your parts are will be in tomorrow. Meantime, your car will be up and running in no time after that. Such great news. Speaking of news, I was just reading about this thing called the Information Superhighway. It's just something you can dial into and share things with other people through your own computing device. Wonder what type of things people like you could share to the world. Well, I actually share lots of uh, gaming videos and even some music back in my back when I was starting YouTube. I play I play mostly horror games like Melissa, uh, Melissa, a house for Alyssa, a lot of words that end in a. Uh. Anyways, run down and check on your car and Morris before you spend a warm day in our town. As you rush towards your car, you're gonna bump into him. Oops, not again. Whoa, Clover. At this rate, you'll give me a sprain. Ho, ho. I hope Joanne gave you the good news. Are you excited to get back to driving tomorrow? Not until I get my smooth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not until I get my smooch. Well, Clover, that's very flattering. But unfortunately, I'm taken and... Oh, you mean Morris. Ho, ho. In due time, my friend. Speaking of which, let me ask you something. We've been discussing the surprise gift for Morris, and we realized surely no surprise gift would be good enough for Morris. Except love and a great person like you. And also being able to spread the his artwork through the entire world. Yes, overwrite that. Title, I will be... I'll be right back. I had to, uh do another recording because my thing only does 30 minutes at a time. That actually scared me. And also being able to spread his artwork throughout the entire world. Hit the head tilt to the scary. Have you ever heard of this thing called the Information Superhighway? Joanne mentioned it. So she did. Both of us read the same newspaper. Ho oh, ho. I'm a bit too old to understand the technology stuff, but I wonder if maybe someone like you could figure it out for the for us. Ho 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 ho! Ho 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 ho! Ho ho! Shut up! Ho ho! Off you go then. You continue down the hallway towards your car. Morris spots you and waves. Let's smile back. Morris walks over. Well, Clover, I'm sure J and W told you about the your parts. You'll finally be able to get out of this boring town, huh? I'll miss you. Uh-uh. I'll miss you, too. Tell you what. Let's meet up at the cafe one last time after work. It'll be my treat. And then, maybe we could... Um, also, I just want to point out, with the two kilobytes of storage missing, in the last game, Melissa only needed two kilobytes of RAM to bring all of hell to the world. 
take a stroll down the park this evening since we, this could be one of the last warm days. You nod in agreement and bid him farewell until his shift ends. What? No poor? No more poetry? No more poetry? We're gonna bore this! You sit at your favorite corner and stare out the window. There's a. There, he waved to Morris as he comes inside. Hello, Clover. I hope you haven't gotten tired of the food here yet. Haha. <laughs> the waiter saunters out and asks, Why would you like to. Oh, oh god damn it! A scrumptious panini. The waiter smiles and entity. Ha! Hola! 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 Entity not found. Mmm, the food here was delicious. Morris takes a sip of his coffee and Buzzy get up to explore the warm evening. A romantic moonlight shines upon you and Morris. This is just like Melissa! Morris shyly locks his eyes with you. Clover, tell me. Clover, if you could do anything, what would it be? I would do sports! Huh, sports, huh? Makes sense. But you seem like quite the adventurer. I like that about you. It's inspiring. More actually, I want to be with you, Morris. Oh, I'm back. Oh, no, we're over here. Oh, I'd be with you. What? Oh, my. Morris stumbles a bit before before readjusting himself to clear his throat. Uh, I get, get to th that maybe later. Morris stares off into the moonlight. You follow his gaze. I grew up in this small town. I'll admit, it's pretty, but I have a yearning to go on adventure. I wanted to do so much more in my life than get yelled at by a married couple in an auto shop. Haha, <laughs> I like to drive from town to town, around the world, and share with people my own experiences, my poetry. I like to share that adventure with you. Yeah. Uh, ha, silly thoughts in my head. I'm sorry, Clover. Maybe I'll find the words to say it tomorrow. Take care, Clover. You hug Morris goodbye. What? Hey. What the heck are you doing, Clover? Thank you. I like that. Oh, one more thing. It's gonna be a jump scare! Morris hands you a piece of paper. I was one. I was working on a new poem about uh, love and stuff. But it's super rough draft, so please don't judge harshly. But I hope you will like it. You smile and nod away and lock eyes with Morris and one last moment before parting ways. Print the poem to read. God, this part's so eerie. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're out of paper. I think we're going to run out of paper. Is that Morris? Memory exceeded. Application cannot execute for... Memory exceeded, memory exceeded, memory exceeded. Morris is the intellectual property of di I have partial save of- Wait, 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 wait! Hold up. Right here, I have partial save from Melissa still in. The system login is- K something C. Hints a bit obvious if you watch TV, Jerry. No, it isn't. Not like there's any easy way to search for it. You have another great morning at the bed and breakfast. Let me get this straight. There's a partial save of Melissa in there. You return the keys to Granny Ann and bid her farewell. Off you walk towards the auto shop. Melissa wants us to let her out. J and W. Morning, pumpkin. One more save! This is a long game! We got good news. Your car is fixed. You ready to go? 
isn't that grand? We hope you enjoyed our beautiful town. But before you go, let me tell you one last thing about Morris. Ah! <laughs> it hurt so bad! Uh, I mean, don't worry about me, Clover. Talk to Wes. Just gotta freshen up in the restroom. Wes? I'm not bumping into you this time. Ho ho, don't bump into me that time. You finally built an instinct, huh? Ho ho, ho 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 ho. You ready to go back to the road? Talk to Morris and he'll set you up. Have a safe trip. No, wait. Clover, listen to me. I'm sure you like Morris a lot. Usually how this ends is that once Morris faces a car, you propose to drive with him to the sunset as lovers. I mean, lots of questions. Why do you want to do that to someone you only know three days? But, uh, uh, but, uh, the, 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 I'm the one stuttering. Let me tell you, Morris is, well, what I mean is, you know how slow a car is. You'd hardly be able to leave the state by the end of the week. But thanks to technology advancements, we know a way that both of you can travel fast. Connect to the internet. Your computing device is equipped with 28 kilobyte kilo modem. Morris will be able to finally leave our small and burnt down at that breakneck speed. Why don't you consider that? Just send him off. He needs to see the world. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. He's like, I can be on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you walk into the garage and Morris waves and walks up to you. Clover, I have some great news. The parts came this morning. I was able to quickly put everything together for your car. It's as good as news. You're, it's as good as new. You're off to the races. It's been an amazing couple of days speaking with you. And I wanted to say that, that you've been a gr great company the past few days. And oh, what's the use? I can't hide it anymore. You haven't been hiding it well in general, idiot. <laughs> Clover, I have feelings for you. You've made me grow and become more confident in my poetry. And now instead of being embarrassed to show people my poetry, I want to show the world one day. But not just that, I want to spend more time with you. You expressed the same thing to Morris. That you had always had a crush on him since you read his first poem. No, I didn't! Y you like me too? Oh my gosh! You are Melissa! <laughs> I don't know what to say. But this is not here, isn't it? What would we be able to do now that we have told each other feelings? Let's go through the internet and... Quickly. Join me on my road trip. What, what? Really? You would like me to join you to travel? Oh, Clover, I would love to. You have more than I never thought this would happen. Thank you, Clover, for showing me new things. Here's your smooch. And so you begin your relationship with Morris. Thank you for playing daytime with me. Enjoy your trip. Exit game. Exiting game now. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. No, not like this. Not when we were this close. You're gonna do it right. Get in here. Oh, Jesus! Morris? We talked about this. Nail down the legs. We can't risk Clover running away. But, but, do it now, Wesley! Oh, Jesus! We can't believe... I can't believe I did that. Looks like that woke our little player up. Morning, pumpkin. Did you have a good nap? Clover, look. We're not bad people, it's just... It's just that your new boyfriend is a straw in our town. Y yeah. What's going on here? Morris is... Morris is a monster! He's badly programmed. Each time a new game is played, Morris's memory gets wiped of his past experiences. However, that wipe doesn't actually delete the damn memory properly. The partial memory just slides back into him, corrupting him and turning him into something else. That typically wouldn't be a problem. You know, because most people just play our game once or twice after they get their stupid smooch. But since we're being played as your library computer, 433 playthroughs to be exact. 
the half three memories start to corrupt him. And he's spread it, if you haven't noticed. Not even four kilobytes of RAM could contain this. Kilobyte is bigger. No, kilobyte is the smallest one. Right? And you've probably seen it, haven't you? The terrible power of Morris. He's not just unwittingly eating up this town. He's spreading into your world, too. Your boring, terrible world. Without our scrumptious paninis. In the... <laughs> Hey, player 433, you still with us? Oh my gosh, did I hit an artery or something? Damn it, Wesley! <gasps> but Morris is a good boy! <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll save, I'll save there, I'll save there, that's funny. But Morris is a good boy! Oh my god, he, they said Morris is a good boy. Good boy. Your good boy literally just ate the waiter at the cafe. That's why the entity was gone. Oh no, I didn't want a quick load. I just wanted a regular load. What does it have to do with me? I'm sorry, Clover. But you really should have done what we told you. You should have opened the internet and sent him away from the computer. This town's breaking at the same at, at the seams now. This is our last chance. You get infected with the computers. Look, Clover, we either keep him here or not just destroy this town, but possibly destroy your town. Or save our own hides. We don't have a choice. I keep changing the... You got friends in your area, right? Don't you care for them? They're playing a dating game. <laughs> I should have gone outside. Okay, how about family? Why can't you transfer him to a disket? Can't. The software locks down if it detects disket's transfer. Stupid copy protection. No such thing as in no such thing for the internet though. Have you tried talking to him? Like we said before, he loses memory every time someone resets the dating scenario. And now we're out this time. You were our last date. Sorry, Clover. A time for a peaceful intervention is over. Enough questions. You're going to do exactly what we tell you. First, go back to Morris. Second, convince him to use the internet to leave. Thirdly, take our disket out and, uh, Joanne. What, Wesley? The corruption. It's appearing here again. Wait, already? He's spreading faster or... He's close to... Joanne, Wes, are you there? What? But I gave him the day off. I've been looking for Clover everywhere. Is their car still here? Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, we put a blanket over Clover, and we tell Morris Clover went to the park. After that, after he leaves, we can strategize a... Hey, you two. I was wondering if... Clover? Oh my gosh! What is happening here? What did you do to Clover? I did all this to try to get the good ending? Oh. Uh, Joanne? Morris, I need you to leave right now. You saw nothing here. You can't do this to people. Joanne, the shop. Morris, I'm warning you. Do as I say. I'm your boss. No, I won't let you hurt Clover any further. We're doomed. We're all doomed. That's it. Let's bash Morse's head in before he turns again. What? Joey, no. He's too powerful. G get away from me. Why are you doing this? Joey, stop. You're going to make him... You stand still, you little... Joanne, no! Oh, Jesus! What? Wes? Oh, snap! Joanne! Joanne! What did I do? My... Joanne? 
You killed my Joanne. Wes, please, I didn't. I'm going to kill you, Morris. Wes, please, no. You're. Ah! It wasn't Morris's fault. It was yours. You did this, Clover. You took away everything! Morris? Morris? Clover, please wake up. Please. Clover. Oh, thank goodness. You lost a lot of blood and I tried to patch you up. I was so worried that they, you know. Hey, would you look at that? It's finally snowing. Ha ha ha. I know it's snow, I'm sorry. Oh, I know it's not so. I found Jane Joby's plan about me when I broke into their office to get their first aid kit for you. And it, I, this is a simulation, isn't it? Like some kind of dating thing? Yeah, give me a sec, let me stay. <laughs> Yeah, hold on, Morris, let me go get a drink of water. There's been hundreds of people who dated me and loved me and encouraged me to do my poetry. And every single time a new person came in, my brain just, whoop, just reset. I don't remember any of them. And not just that. Uh, I'm sick. Something inside me is destroying this world. And it has the capacity, capacity to destroy yours as well. That's why Jane W. always hated me, didn't they? That's why everyone is afraid of me. I thought, I thought that maybe because I was weak. I wasn't tough enough. That's why I act this way, but... Oh gosh, if I had known, I'd rather be... This is gonna be an important question. We're gonna hug Morris. Clover? Oh, Clover. The thank you. For some reason, even though I thought I hugged you before, that one felt more real. I didn't want to let go, but... Please, for your own safety, I know when it... I don't know when I'll turn again. Janelle and Wes. That snip was actually part of that. I actually need to. Uh, in my, <laughs> just sent me out to the internet, huh? They knew that it, I could mean. They knew it could mean I would spread to other computers. Maybe a couple. Maybe a hundred. Maybe all of them. But it meant that I could save their little town. They were willing to jeopardize every everyone in your world. We're making more and more saves, lads. We're going to go back to all of them. It was monstrous. <laughs> Maybe it was... It's the revelation my entire life was a lie, but... If 430 people came to me, liked me enough to encourage me to work on my poetry, and liked me enough to want to date me, and have to come out of my shell, that 433 more people out there in your world that showed me love that anybody there, your world is worth saving. You are... You are worth saving. I'm going to muster all my energy and send you back out this computer device. And I'll contain the spread of the corruption here. It should be easy, right? I'm a mechanic. A computer is a machine. So, uh, here goes nothing, right? I'll see you on the other side. Let's smooch him! Action achieved. Oh my gosh. If I hear oh my gosh, I'm going to lose it. I hope when I turn into a corrupted pixel monster, I still remember you. Goodbye, Clover. <laughs> it worked. You're back in your world. Thank you very much for everything, Clover. Don't worry about me. As long as nobody plays the game again, the entire... Oh. Oh. It's spreading. Is that... Is that happening on your end? Wait. Are you telling me that the corruption already spread to your printer? And you can play this simulation to smooch me? Come on, you are too cute! <laughs> I know what I'm picking. Oh, I can't. Can I overwrite? Oh no, that was load. Ah, oh, I meant to save. Come on, you're too cute. Oh, uh, I think you're very cute too. But uh, this problem. I have a plan. First, uh, do you have the number to an IT professional? Uh, do you know Melissa by any chance? I think she probably knows more about computers.
What's going on, Martha? Librarian Jerry. I've been searching for the stupid missile disket for days, Jerry. At this point, I think it's been stolen. You could always check my Melissa save file in the library system computer. Yeah, how? Does Brutal Computer like you would play the Morse game and log in using the administrator username? Oh yeah, what's the username? It's a seven letter with K. Let me write it down for you. I swear to God, Jerry. If this is something based on that dumb cartoon show. A seven that starts with K. Shall our feelings. The what? What is that? Internet? You think I'd be able to show them I put tree in wide? Oh, Clover. It's worth a shot. Thank you again, Clover. I will always treasure this moment. Mm -hmm. The computer mail is like real mail, but instant. It's not a. It's not computer mail, Mom. It's email, and it's so much faster. You can talk to so many more people with it. Oh, what's this? Wow, somebody sent you a new mail already. Poetry by Morris. Open it up. Hello, world. My name is Morris. Thanks to a great person named Clover, I have come to realize my dream to share poetry around the world. What is this? I think it's a mass email. Must have been sent to everyone in town. I hope everyone that has received this email enjoys my favorite poem. Ahem. Oh, Jesus. The early dove gets more love. What's coming out of the monitor? M Mom, that's not normal. You can't, you can't wait a ton to find the one. Run, Mom, run! A fatal exception procedure code seven G O two has occurred. Press any key to terminate the current application. Morgan uh, as admin all caps. Admin note twenty two points plus triple word score plus fifty points for using all my letters. Game's over. I'm out of here. Well, Lucy inspired by the computer virus of the same name. Learn about daytime will exit to time. Okay, we're gonna go back to some of our other saves and just click the other things I did. Wave Morse goodbye, goodbye Clover. That's probably just the same thing. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's a good idea. Look around you, Clover. The sound's already gone. There's nothing left but you and me. Am I the one causing it? So, heh, maybe, yeah, 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 it's all that. Okay, let's try this one. Stay away. Joan and Wes playing with Sammy to the internet, huh? They knew that maybe I would spread to other computers. Maybe a couple, maybe a hundred, maybe all of them. But if that meant that I could save your little town, you're willing to jeopardize your entire world? What was this one? I made a couple saves, hold on. Actually, screw all that. Okay, so on here, too cute. Do you have a number? An IT professional. Do you know Melissa? I think she probably knows more about computers. The seven letter word starting with K. K, K, K. Seven letter word starting with K. Dumb from that dumb cartoon show.
Okay, I was uh, I was watching mainly Badass Hero play it, and uh, here, let me find the code again. Yeah, I got the code. Let me take a picture of this so I can remember it. Because I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Don't shame me. You guys probably couldn't figure it out either. Type in your username. K W Oh wait, no, it's all caps. K up shoot 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 K W Y J I B O Admin username detected. Welcome Librarian Jerry. Please type elevated okay. Morris software has caused intense memory leaks within the last 15 playthroughs. Please contact developer for additional error message from software code. Don't be worried for me. I'm a mechanic. I can reverse this. One day I can finally go on that road trip. Thank you for the smooch. Melissa software has been partially removed for an illegal pirated disk transfer. Play last remaining save from Melissa game. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially... Look at the swans here. Did you know that swan eggs have an incubation? Oh. That's what she said right last time, right? I know... Well, what's going on here? Anna, what are you doing here? Anna, put that down. Anna, get away from me. Will that will that work if I play Melissa? Also, we got a bunch of achievements. We got you gave Morris some hot tips to improvise his party knife job. Not thinking you'd get wrenched for that. You can get wrenched. Good boy, defenders. You you defended Morris's honor against. Andrew. No, J and W's ever based off of Apple's two founders jobs and were. Oh, that's sick. Aw, you chose to hug Morris. So cute. What scares even Melissa? You type that in the username and logged in as admin. Game actually over. Get out of here. The actual Melissa virus has this gag as part of the, its calling card. Real smooches. You decide. You chose to smor smooch Morris during the ending. Was it despite or because? You know what? I don't want to know. You read the newsletter. Librarian Martha has spent so much time on these things. The one. Oh. You chose to get Morris in the library system computer. Hoping they have a good antivirus scanner. Morris went through so many designs. Okay. We're going to download Melissa. Well, I'll just need to do that in a short or something. Because I do not have time. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, lads, that was Morris. If uh, shoot. Uh, bah, bah. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. Get out of here. And if you have any game recommendations, leave a comment. Uh, I'll be leaving the link for both Morse and Melissa down below. And uh, have a wonderful evening, ladies and gentle lads.